Hi. Sweater. Thank you. So, what happened? With what? With the car. What car? The hit and run. Oh, right, 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 right. <laughs> well, actually, the guy went into Queens. Queens? Mm. You followed him over the bridge? Over the bridge. No, oh, I, uh, I didn't know you went into Queens, Jerry. <laughs> yeah, Queens. So, then what? So he gets out of the car. I said, hey, buddy, I saw you hit that car. So he says to me, what are you going to do about it? So I said to him, whatever is necessary. Uh, uh, I am speechless. I am without speech. Tell her about the shoving. What? What shoving? Oh, it was nothing. No! Tell her. Well, he kind of lost his temper, and he was pushing me up against the car, so I went into a karate stance. You know karate? I know a little. Well, I, this is so amazing to me. Jerry, what, what did he do? He backed off. It's pretty pathetic, actually. Hey. hey. Did you tell Kramer? Ah, oh, man. Whoa, whoa, what? Tell him. Jerry saw this guy smash into a car and he followed him. Good for you. What kind of a sick lowlife would do a thing like that? You know those people? You know they're mentally disturbed. They should be sent to Australia. Australia? Yeah, yeah, that's where England used to send their convicts. But not anymore. No. Kramer? Kramer? Uh, huh? What, what happened to you right here? Yeah, I don't know. You know, I was watching entertainment tonight. And uh, suddenly, you know, I got dizzy. And the next thing I know, I hit my head on the coffee table. Well, that is, that is strange. Yeah, it's good. It's good. <laughs> All right. Oh, Jerry, we're still on for Friday night, right? Oh, Friday, no, I can't. I'm sorry, I, I have a date. But last night you said you were free. We just met. You know, maybe it was a reaction to the sardines. <laughs> I, I can't go alone. Ask George to go with you. <gasps> George, come on. I'll, I'll pay for you. You'll pay? I'm there. <laughs> Why do you even need anybody? Because I hate being at a table alone with a married couple. Talking about their married friends and their married furniture. They're always trying to make me feel like their life is so much better than mine. You know, I have a very exciting life. It's very exciting. 